Hey everybody, Murray Man here, and today I'm coming at you guys with what is hopefully a helpful tutorial. This is how to make slow motion smoothly in Sony Vegas Pro. It doesn't really have to be Pro. Pro helps. You could do this in Movie Studio or whatever, but it. the only way I do know is in Sony Vegas. This is going to be using my GoPro. You could use something else. I'm using the GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition, not the Black Plus, just the regular black. But let's go ahead and get into this. What you're obviously going to want to do first is go out and just record your video with whatever camera you're using. And you're going to need something that's going to record at at least 120 frames per second. I'm recording at 240 frames per second, but either way it really works. So you're going to want to open it up and drag it, or drag and drop, <sighs> sorry. So you're going to want to drag and drop your file into Sony Vegas. You can just go ahead and hit yes on this, but you want to go up here to file and go to properties or hit alt enter and open it up. And you're going to want to go to where it says here you want to make sure if you're going to do 240 on a GoPro like mine, it's going to be 480p. So you're going to want to do that definitely. But you're going to want to set the frame rate of the video to be 29.970 NTSC. And you can just like change your best or whatever motion blur type uh, I'm gonna just turn off motion blur but anyway just do like your fields or anything you really feel like just gives it more color <laughs> it's ugly though let me change that back real quick so you're gonna want to cut away the parts that you're not going to need probably Yes, I am using an of glove for this because these firecrackers are sketchy. So let's go ahead and copy this. We'll paste it here too so we can compare it. So you're going to want to go onto your one that you have that you've pasted. Control. You don't have to copy and paste or whatever. I'm just going to compare the two. So we're going to hit Control. Click on here where it's got the squiggly line and drag it as far as it'll go. So basically, here's your original. And now, here's your new. So you can see this here is much, much slower than the other one. Which you actually realizes that the sound lags behind the pop. Look on the first pop there. I just think this is cool on the first pop. It makes the noise and then it pops, like if you look carefully catch that but anyway yeah you want to do that see the importance of setting it to be like 30 or 24 P instead of keeping it at 240 is that the same with if you'd say record 30 P and try to edit at 30 P when you make it slow motion it's going to go it's going to be really choppy and it's just not going to be very smooth like how it is here it's really smooth like 240 P is still too low for a firecracker or whatever, but like say a basketball shot or something, 240p would be completely fine for it. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. This has been I'm Mermaid Man. Please remember to like and favorite, comment, rate, and subscribe. And just if we can get five likes on this, I'll put out a new GoPro tutorial. But thank you all for watching, and yeah, peace. Baby, won't you let the light shine